YouTube world, my name is Nicholas Montez, and you're watching my YouTube channel, The Teenage Movie Critic. And welcome back to today's channel, everybody. I'm so excited to have you all back together again. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the entire season one of X Men '97, the animated series revival series for X Men the animated series that came out on Disney Plus for nine weeks since March 15th or 16th. I don't remember but something like that. Uh, this is a series that, m like most of you, I pretty much have watched all, all those weeks, so let's go ahead and get started watch, um, reviewing it. And let's get straight to the point. Obviously, this show is fantastic. Um, obviously, to give you a preference, going into this show, I was actually kind of nervous. Mainly because... How exactly does Marvel, how exactly do you bring a 90s animated show back into the present day? Because I'm going to be honest, I did like X from the animated series, but I wasn't crazy about it. Like, it, it was cool that you brought all these characters from the comics into this animation form. The theme song hits hard, don't get me wrong, it still hits hard, but I just wasn't really invested into the story. I couldn't really care about the characters because it just felt like all the characters were saying things from the comics except in this like heroic voice in the comics. It's like it's not like TV show characters. It's like I'm the Wolverine and I'm the best there is at what I do, bub. Like they don't they don't really feel like that. But then we get this show and from the very first two episodes, which are easily my favorite episodes of this season, it easily hooked me. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say the rest of the episodes are bad. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. But as soon as you get... The, the reason why I like those first two episodes is because they give you everything you want in this show. Action, enjoyable characters, drama, and just great stuff that builds with the story plus the, the new theme song in here works really well and also when it comes to like the animation a lot of people in my opinion i don't know if anyone noticed this but when i when i first saw the trailer for this show it easily gave me invin invincible vibes which I know that's a weird comparison because this show is nothing like Invincible. Invincible is a much more darker show. But in the way that the animation is stylized, in a lot of that ways, it feels a lot like Invincible. And I'm hoping most of you can understand where I'm coming from with that. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, I, I love that this show kind of gives every character um, a great moment. Where, you know, and what's even crazy is they don't, they don't, they don't like to, they don't, um, they're not afraid to kill off some beloved characters like Gambit and take away Storm's powers. Like, stuff like that is just crazy, but you feel the tension through it. And so, and even just like the scene where Magneto rips the, the metal out of Wolverine's bones, like, that is just crazy. When that happened, I'm like, what is going on here? Like, you finally killed him, like... Like, is him killing him, like, supposed to happen? Like, what's gonna happen here? So, yeah, there's a lot of greatness in this show. I do have a couple issues, but now let's talk about the bad. And the only flaws that I really have with this show, it's really just, I feel like that there are some episodes that just don't really make sense in light of the story. When it comes to the video game stuff, it doesn't really make sense. And when you're bringing in back Professor X, why is he trying to date an alien? And while you do get some good Professor X moments in here, I'm like, I thought he died. Like, did they not, did they not have that established? Like, how exactly did he come back? Like, that made no sense to me. But, it's whatever. And then also, a lot of people loved 
seen little superhero cameos like Captain America, Iron Man, Black Panther, the Hulk, and then of course Spider-Man and Daredevil. It was of course cool to see, and a lot of you are like, we need Spider-Man 98, we need Avengers 98, Daredevil 98, we need a lot of that stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, I guess that does a good job of establishing the Marvel, this Marvel Universe. But, <coughs> this show's not really about that. In my honest opinion, it, it shouldn't be about that. Now, I understand. Marvel characters cross over and other are going to cross in are going to cross over into other Marvel projects for many periods of time, but it's whatever. I thought I thought this was a great show. I th I'm excited for season two. I'm excited to see where it goes. And maybe, possibly, X Men '96. This Wolverine is probably the Wolverine that we see in Deadpool and Wolverine. Who knows? But yeah, that's that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys thoughts down on X Men '97 below. What, what were your thoughts? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Let me know what your thoughts down in the comment section below. With that said, let's get on my scores. Alright, so that's it for my scores. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.